Hello, this is your wonderful lecturer, Matt Myers. I'm going to be creating drive time models, looking at the six major retail uh, shopping malls here in Melbourne. So first you need to open a generic map of Melbourne. So you can either go file open and go into your, la your library, or go file new map, and we'll just plug it in. Don't need a legend, clear it up. There's a lot of stuff on here, so we can turn some of the stuff off. Zoom out a little bit. A generic map. Now we're going to add the six malls and I gave you in the assignment sheet the locations so you can download those. So wherever you download it to, add them to the map. A little larger so you can see it. So now you see the maps are on there. Labels. Let's get all those in the way. <clears throat> so now we can go in and actually plot them out and do the drive time models. The drive times basically looks at the individual streets and the distance in relation of time and traffic. Uh, you can base them strictly on the highways, um, but often in an urban area like this, you ought to actually start looking at using the street layers. So do our tools go to our routing and we're going to do network bands. Get the layer highway and we'll use street since I think it's better and keep it simple we'll say um, two to ten and calculate the demographics and say add the points and that's here, so we've added here all features, and then we hit calculate. So at this point, it's looking at all the streets, trying to figure out the distances and bands from each of those six different locations. You can see it takes a little while. Let's work through. And those of you with slower computers, this, this can take a little while. So hopefully the, um, yours won't crash. If it crashes, go to smaller areas so you don't have to go far out. Um, but also, if you're having problems with the crashing, turn off the uh, calculated demographics. That way it just does the bands. And then you can go back using the other methods of using overlays and then do them at that point. So now it's actually completed all those for us. And it's actually gone in. You got the different bands here. Basically, it's calculated the distance. Each of those bands will have population. Uh, if you want to save it, you can. I'm not for this assignment, but you will need to for yours. The one disadvantage of doing the drive models with the bands is you'll see it actually combines all of them together. So they're merged bands. So if I make network bands my active layer and information, it'll give you all the demographics, all the details. As you can see for all of those at that distance. So it's not going to give it to me individually for each property. So what you need to do is actually separate out each one to a separate layer. That way it will calculate its own band separately. The disadvantage is where you have the crossover between the two, 
you'll have a dis the uh, bands will cross there. So to create the new layers of the individuals, go back to your super regional malls. In there, you'll have the different malls. Let's turn the other stuff off so you can see everything. And what we want to do is extract those out individually to create new files for each of those. So what we'll do is we'll use our selection. So we have a selection tool. I'm just going to point. Make sure I have my active layer. In this case, it doesn't change colors because the selection status was different. So I've now selected that mall, tools, export, and selection. Make sure you add it to the map and include the data. What we're going to do is take each of these six that are in one, one layer separate them out and create its own separate layer for each of those. So that's going to be mall 1, where you keep your files, and you'll see it's added it to the map. Now I want to select the next one, so my super regional maps, uh, it's still there. Make sure it's only one clicked, and you can double check that by looking here. You see it's actually two, and the reason it's done that is when we put the super regional map layer back on, uh, the new one here, it put the red back, so it covers up the other one. So what I'm going to do is make that a different color, so we know what's what. So once you did that, that's still there. So if I want to make this one, each one a different color, and I change them, I can do that to keep it organized. So I've done that. So for my selection set, make sure you get to the right one. Show malls. Selection set. What I need to do is clear it out. So what I can do is clear set. So none are selected. Now I can go back and select it. Tools. Uh, exports, mall 2, add layer, Fair set, tools, export. Make sure it says selection. Not all features, just selection. Add layer. Order doesn't really matter. You can do any of those. It doesn't matter what you call now. Mall four or the other. Okay, I've now added all the malls there. One, two, three. I guess I messed up for that one. 